My name is Artastic, and today we're going to draw a very stunned elf who is in shock that Christmas is already here, and perhaps the to-do list for this elf is still quite long. So grab your favorite mark-making mediums, and let's make some art. Fantastic Nation, we're going to start off on our elf, so grab your tool or medium that you want to draw with and we're going to begin by drawing the head up here and the body down here. First we're going to draw a straight line along the top of our paper. Next we're going to draw two diagonal lines on either side connect with another horizontal line and then you can go over each of those lines a second time with your mark making medium just to thicken them up and make them nice and tidy. Great. Next we're going to do the hat. So we're going to draw a nice sweeping line up, around, and down. Draw a second line that curves up in the opposite direction, so curving upward. Add a nice little curving wrinkle down to the tip of the hat. Use your curvy lines for the nice little details um, in the pom pom on the side. Add some diagonal lines for stripes on the hat. Next, give your elf some hair using some zigzag lines. Or if it's a girl elf, you can add some female hair. It's whatever you want. All hair is different. Some people have long hair, some people have short hair, some people have half shaved hair, some people do not. Whatever kind of hair you want to add, you feel free to add the style that you would like your elf to have. Okay, so you make that choice and you make it a reflection of something that is meaningful to you. Okay, next for our elf, we're going to draw a nice U shape for the head. We're going to go back over that face shape a second time to thicken it up. And I'm also going to go over the hair that's on the outside of the body. So along the perimeter. For my elf, this is going to be a rather stunned elf because this elf has realized that Christmas is almost here. So to make a very stunned face, we're going to draw a circle on either side for the eyes. Now, I would like you to take a black, if you're not already drawing with one, and go over and around those eyes a couple more times to make that nice and thick. Now, usually in my videos, you see me color in the eyes, and today we're leaving it white because this is a stunned elf. Draw a nice up upside down U or an arching shape for the top of the mouth and then you can thicken that up a little bit. Curve in the bottom on either side. Bring it up in a wave. Perfect. For the mouth, we're going to add a little curving detail on either side of the corner of the mouth. I'm going to add a tongue with a nice little curving line in there. And then we can give our elf two little teeth. So this guy is in total shock. Guy or gal or they, up to you. 
Next, on either side of the head, we're going to draw an ear with a tall point. So starting in line with the eyes, up into a point, down and connect in. Next, in the ears, we're gonna add two little C shapes to finalize the detail of the ears. And a couple little lines. And now we're ready for the body. So we're gonna make it a very short body. For the neck, we're gonna start off with adding a triangle. So two lines down from the neck, in on a diagonal towards the middle of the head. Add a nice little U shape underneath there. Next, we're going to add a body. So, we're going to add two curving lines down, horizontal line across, firm up those lines by drawing over them a second time. On either side of the body, bring a line down from the shoulders and tuck it in. On either side, for each hand, draw a tall U for a thumb. Draw a nice curving line that connects in so that way it looks like a mitten on its side. Finally, we're gonna draw two short little lines. <laughs> Very short. Very short lines. And we can bring up the line there. Connect them in the middle for the pants. And then, of course, we're gonna do some shoes. So first, I'm going to draw the curving triangles, kind of there at the front. Sweep those curving triangles in towards the body. Then add a line to complete them. Go over them a second time so they look like nice folding shoes that are very elfy. If you want, you can add a little buckle on them or two. And before we color, give your elf a couple more buttons and any other details you want on its outfit. And my lovely friends, we are ready to color our elves. So grab your favorite coloring mediums and let's get start started on coloring. Okay, let's give this very shocked elf some color. I'm going to be coloring in felt marker today, but you can pick whatever you want, whether it's wax crayon, watercolor paints, pencil crayon, the choice is really yours. First, I'm going to pick whatever flesh tone or skin color that I want to color my skin. Now, you can pick whatever color skin color you want. Skin comes in many colors, so you pick the color of skin tone that you would like.
So as you're coloring the face, be very careful that you don't color those lovely facial details. Now look at how much those eyes stand out. All right, that is the only skin that's showing, just the face, so I can put that away. Next, I'm gonna grab a black, and I'm going to quickly color in the dark of that mouth. I'm going to color the hair now. My elf, he's, this elf is kind of a clever fellow, so mine actually has some streaks in its hair, so I'm gonna add a few purple streaks because this elf was really having fun with some hair dye before the Christmas season. And then I'll color in the hair with my hair color. You pick the color that you want for your own hair color. Next, I'm going to do the hat. I'm going to do a red hat. And I'm going to color most of the hat, but I'm gonna leave the edge of the hat white. That way it looks a little bit more shiny, like the light is capturing it. I'm also gonna add some red stripes on my hat, and again I'll leave some remaining white areas. I'm gonna color the folds on the shirt with my red, and the tongue in the mouth. As well, I'm going to color these mittens with my red. I'm going to grab my green. Coloring in the bottom of that hat with green. Again, leaving some white. Coloring in the shirt, and I'm gonna color in the laces, but I haven't quite decided what color my shoes might be yet. I am going to color the pants and the buttons with the yellow, so you can grab a yellow. Color in the buttons yellow. You can color in, ooh, what did I say? Yeah, we'll color in the pants yellow. And I think 
think, I think, I think I'm going to do the shoes red. Finally, before we're all done, we'll add a little bit of shading. So where those arms overlap, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, uh, sorry, gray. And you can use gray pencil crayon, you can use gray felt marker, you can use gray um, wax crayon, it's up to you. I'm gonna add a little bit of gray along the edge of the pants for some shading. Where the shoes fold over. on the inner ear there. Around the mouth. Under and around the face. You can add some gray shading under that hairline. especially around the eyes. And if you're using wax crayon or pencil crayon, just shade lightly in a nice little circle. I can add shading to the hat to make it stand out. And once you're done shading your lovely elf who is completely horrified about the fact that he or she may be very unprepared for Christmas. Perhaps the to-do list is extraordinarily long. Once you're all done, adding all those details, your lovely elf is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast your favorite podcast player.